Okay, here's how to repair the broken catch on a Ford Territory SXSY model. Uh, that's this compartment here that's on the top of the dashboard and uh, doesn't want to close anymore. The button here still works, but there is a little part here which can just move all by itself and not connected to anything. What we're going to need to do this repair is a Phillips head screwdriver, the short and stubby one's best, you'll see why in a second and a flat bladed screwdriver, preferably one that's a little pointy. And the other thing you need is one of these. Uh, it's a part that I've manufactured. It's a 3D printed um, replacement latch that's going to go in there. Uh, it comes with instructions. There it is. This is the broken bit. Well, this is the fixed one. Okay, so first step we need to do is undo four screws to remove this compartment. Those screws are located there, 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 and right at the back there. And this is why the short and stubby one is really handy. There we go. Now, this whole top lid compartment just comes off. There's a nice piece of uh, insulation there, you can leave that. Okay, Okay. so here's the upper lid, and there's three screws that we need to remove. This one, this one, and this one. Alright, so this whole catch compartment now comes out. Right, so let's have a look at this fellow. Okay, so here's the completed latch. We pull it apart by prying the screwdriver here. There. In between there. And on this side. Okay, so what we have when we disassemble this is there's a lower part, a broken latch, a couple of springs, and the cover. So let's just put these aside. There's the cover, there's the lower part. Now, this is actually the broken catch. The part that you push in at the front is supposed to be connected to the part that clips down and holds the catch in place. But, as you can see here, the, uh, the plastic is really thin at those points and breaks extremely easily. And that's a bit that's broken. So, that's a bit we throw away. And we bring in the new 3D printed part. Here it is. Alright, so to reassemble this, let's get our springs. Pop them back on there this fellow. You can see the two spots where the springs are going to go. So what we do is slide the hook bit through the hole, line the springs up, and clip that together like this. You've got to hold it a little because the springs kind of want to make it fly off. Then to keep that all together we get the cover and just simply clip that back on again like that. That is now repaired. And then this gets reattached back on here, like so. Three screws. And there it is, reattached. Press the button and the catch works. And then we reattach it to the car. And the car ready to reattach our fantastic or bingtastic new clip back onto the upper lid of this compartment. We put the uh, insulation back in, put this fellow back on there, and then it's just a case of four screws there, 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 and there, same as before, that we put back on again. All right, we've reattached these four screws. We now have a working compartment. Yay! Fixed. So that's it. Um, there's a part, obviously. You can get the thing at bingtastic.com, B-I-N-G-T-A-S-T-I-C.com. And if you want to stick around, I'll, um, I'll show you how the bit's made if you're curious. All right, hope that helps. Okay, so if you're curious, this is how the part's made. This is the 3D printer. It takes a spool of black plastic, which is a bit like really thick fishing line, 
and it prints it, it melts it, and then does this to it. That's a clip being made there now. As you can see, it's not exactly a fast process. It takes about two hours to print one of these on the printer. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it comes out of the printer. As you can see, there's a whole lot of extra stuff that it had to print in order to support the part while it was uh, being manufactured. So there's then the process of going through and removing a lot of the support material, and some of it comes out uh, quite nicely. You can get great big chunks out, uh, but others of it requires a bit of time and patience uh, with a hobby knife to get out some of the, uh, the smaller parts here, such as this. And so on and so forth. Now once you've actually uh, remove a lot of this material, the surface that you end up with. Just try and show you a bit of it. Is often marked and has some uh, injuries from the support material. You can see that, uh, that white colour there and uh, that gets cleaned up with a paintbrush and some acetone. And then you have a nice shiny part. So here it is after we've finished cleaning it up and it's ready to go. So uh, as you can see it's, um, it's a bit of an involved process. The 3D printing is not an exact thing. It's not like a laser printer or an inkjet where you just hit the print button and something comes out. There's a fair bit of stuff that goes into it. And, but it's just amazing to be able to create something on a computer and then uh, have it come out and use the new territory. Brilliant.